Hey guys, Finity from Static Feeds here, bringing you commentary over some Battlefield 4. So it's been a pretty interesting week for gaming, and it's a really exciting time to be a gamer right now with the new consoles coming out, next gen consoles coming out, well current gen now. But the PS4 just released on last week, I'm not sure what day, I think it was Monday, but it sold 1 million units in its first day, 24 hours, just in North America. Now that's crazy for a console so uh, let's see let's see what the Xbox one brings to the table in the sales next week but this week maybe it's coming out I don't even know guys I'm sorry I'm cl I claim to be a gamer I guess and I should know this stuff but honestly I don't care <laughs> no I shouldn't say I don't care but yeah I just don't care about the release dates but hopefully you guys are enjoying your PS4 and I'm sorry if your PS4 came defective, and hopefully your Xbox One does not come defective if you guys ordered that. Uh, so yeah, best of wishes to all of you guys. Um, in the end, all of us are gamers, and we shouldn't fight over which console is better, because that's really stupid. No fanboys. Even though I'm PC right now. But So there's this really enticing deal that I found that I am going to bring up, that I'm going to claim... Uh, from Best Buy, I'm actually gonna bring in my Xbox 360. I'm gonna give it to them for a hundred dollar Best Buy gift card minimum. So if you bring in your working, no cracks, and the factory seal is still there, it's not uh, broken. Uh, you can get a minimum guaranteed price of one of uh, minimum guaranteed. $100 Best Buy gift card. So I'm going to use that towards the purchase of a PS4. I'm probably going to get a PS4 later this year, early next year, somewhere during that time frame. So I'm looking forward to that. I do not advise you to buy a console right when it comes out. I did make a video about that, and 0. I mean, 0.04% of people got a defective PlayStation 4. Excuse me yawn there whatever it was i don't even know what that was but yeah got a defective playstation that's not as bad as the xbox 360 was on launch but hopefully the xbox one is better and it's not defective i really like how the ps4 is looking like it's just amazing uh, the interface looks pretty much the same which kind of sucks for me i didn't really like the playstation interface but you know what it's, it's whatever games games is what really matters so i'm kind of gonna kind of miss the uh, xbox interface <clears throat> but you guys know that microsoft is a software company and you can tell by the design of the xbox one i mean it still has a power brick it is fat and it's power consuming kind of looks like the playstation 3 but <clears throat> in size and yeah but and Sony is a hardware company. I mean, PS4 is beautiful, slim. It's has no power brick, and yeah, it just looks great. In general, I mean, the Xbox One isn't ugly. It's just big, fat, for me at least. No homo. Um, but yeah, but the interface is bad. Like soft, like all the software stuff for the Sony has been pretty bad. Like I don't know if they have party feature now, but hopefully they do. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna take them up, uh, Best Buy up on that offer. I'm gonna trade it in like uh, uh, later this week. I'm not sure if you have to have all the cables, but I'm thinking that you do. But I'm not gonna like give my headset up or something like that, something like that. I think I might keep it just using my play P uh, PS4, because now you can use any headset you want really with the PS4 controller, because it has universal jack on it. So. Everything, every, every one of your headsets should work, so that's awesome. 3.5 millimeter jack or something like that, guys. I'm sorry, but I don't know. But I'm looking forward to some games next gen. Now, um, just this little side note: these are not all the games that I'm looking forward to. I've left some out, like uh, just by looking at this list. I remember I left out Titanfall, which I'm going to be getting for my PC, and. Uh, what was that like t uh, Tom Clancy's uh, the, the division or something like that I think that's what it's called 
but infamous second son most of these are ps4 exclusives infamous second son the order 1886 destiny Kills on Shadowfall, that little scroll, scrolls online, Battlefield 4 for next gen. I mean, it's obvious I'm playing Battlefield 4 right now on the PC, but I mean, for like next gen console, Watch Dogs, Wolfenstein, The New Order, Thief, Mac, Dying Light, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zeroes, and Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pain. It's coming out in two parts, so I'm really looking forward to that. Just gotta catch up on Metal Gear Solid 3, I think it's called Sons of Liberty. And Mary Gear of Solid 4. Guns and Patriots. Man, I don't even know the names of these games, but it's really awesome series, guys. Definitely go check it out. Start with number one, or you're not going to know what the heck is going on. Uh, so, yeah. Today is Sunday while I'm recording this video. This is like the fourth time I've had to record my voice because first time I didn't like it. The other two times, like the audio got deleted or something. I don't know what the heck what the hell happened, but. Uh, yeah, enjoy your week, come, uh, come back for any news that I have, any commentaries, just come check out my channel guys, go check out the Battlefield 4 walkthrough, it has been up for a while, it was, it was a pretty good campaign, I liked it, it was kind of, it was really short though, I was kind of surprised by how short it was, anyways, Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.